Welcome to the iTunes tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to add album artwork to your MP3s and any missing information using the iTunes Store. First off, we have to open up iTunes, which is conveniently located in your dock bar. As you can see, I have 21.85 gigabytes of music, so I have learned to find the most efficient way and less time consuming way to add all the missing information to my MP3s. First we start off by opening up the playlist we want to work with. I want to work with Acquisition. Now we scroll down to the song we're looking for. And the song I'm looking for is Stomp by Brothers Johnson. As you can see I don't have the album or the genre. And when I double click it, it says drag album artwork here. So what we do is simple. We go to go back up your playlist double click on iTunes type in stomp which is the name of the song and hit the enter button or the return key works as well and as you can see here are the songs and we can double click to make sure this is the one we want it is so now we're going to click here And we see that it says Brothers Johnson, Light Up the Night, released 1980. And that stop is track one out of nine. And the genre is R&B and Soul. So now we go here, Command I to get the info. Put down that it was the year 1980. And that is track one out of nine. And since we don't really recall any of the other information, we can always just click the OK button and go back. Title is Light Up the Night. So we can Command I. Type in Light Up the, light up the Night. Click OK. And then we check to see that it is R&B and Soul. Remember, you have to get this information. It's critical to get this information. To get this information identical. R&B and Soul, identical to what you have here. So now we see that it says Stomp, Brothers Johnson, Light Up the Night, R&B Soul. And it is track one out of nine. Everything is correct. Now we can simply just right click, get album artwork. And notice how it says there that it was getting ready to get it. Now we double click and there it shows up. And you can do this essentially for any song you're interested in finding out. Let's say I want to find Leo Sayers Heart Stop Beating in Time. I would go back up here, type in Leo Sayer and click return or the enter key. And notice how all these songs appear but we want to make sure we find the one so we do it in alphabetical by name and now we go down and notice how it says hard stop beating in time make sure this is the one we want this is the one we want so now we can click there and notice how it's accessing iTunes storage means it'll take you to it directly Notice how it is here, and it is track 1 out of 14. Now we command I, and it's track 1 out of 14. The album is entitled, Have You Ever Been, Have you ever been In Love? Click OK. Go back here, and we notice it says 1984 and genre is rock so we put here 1984 genre is rock we make sure that everything matches with everything here heart stop beating in time it says here 2005 so I guess we can put down 2005 to make sure we get it all we go back 2005 it is critical to have things match identically this way when you do the song and you right click to get the album artwork it automatically downloads it and you don't have to go hunting for it now that we see that 
Now that we see that everything matches, uh, we see that every single thing matches here, we can click OK. Uh, we fixed a little error. You can get album artwork, play it, and I should have gotten it because we didn't do, haha, uh -huh, get info. We didn't make sure we had everything correct. See, it's supposed to be Leo Sayer. See, always time, always good to catch your mistakes. It's always good to catch your mistakes. Now you can right click and get album artwork. And there it is, right there. And that is essentially the steps you have to take to get your MP3s to have album artwork so they show up. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.